welcome back to a brand new video. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make, it's a new mold, and it is a dish. And what I, th my thought process is on this is this. So this is what it looks like. It's a dish and it's got flowers. I'm trying to stick with the summer theme. And it's, it looks like it has little seashells all the way around. And then it has these flowers. This is the pedestal to it. It's a cute dish. This is the top. Now, this mold came with an extra piece and this is it because it can be used for candles and so if you're going to make a candle this fits inside of here so you can make an extra you know the extra piece so this is smooth to smooth out that part for the candles but we're not making candles so so this is the top and so that's what that looks like all right Here's my thought process. I am going to push this out in the center like that because I want to get to those flowers on the inside. So each flower has a center. We're going to use some cabochons, these little doodads here, and we're going to UV resin, if I can pick one up here, we're going to UV resin one of these cabochons because they fit just perfect inside the center of a flower. And we're going to do, uh, now if I can get a hold of it, it's on the loose. We're going to um, UV resin one in each one and we're going to use blue pink, yellow, and purple. And then for each flower, we're going to coordinate that color with the no sink glitter from Into Resin. So blue, purple, pink, and yellow. And we're going to fill in those flowers with UV resin, each one of them. And then, um, I thought about brushing the top with um, a color of some sort, like a chameleon powder from Let's Resin, one of their chameleon powders. like. I don't know, I haven't really got that far, um, but I didn't want, like, you know, sometimes you guys tell me that less is more, so I thought I would get this done, and then we'll see what it looks like, because there's a lot going on in this bowl, or this dish, so I'm going to get that part of it done. And then we'll see if it needs anything else. I really considered doing it in mixed mold, or mixed mold, what the heck. Um, seeing so many videos on that anymore, I get it stuck in my head. Um, in Magic Pour, but um, I wanted some detail, color, I wanted some color. And Magic Pour is white unless you do some marbling with acrylic paint and I wanted it to be specific so that's why I changed my mind so um, we'll see what we're gonna do after I get this done so let's get her started
I'll be right back. Okay, got my yellow mixed up here. I'm gonna put it in a pipette just because I think to be able to reach it inside there, this is gonna be the easiest way. God, there used to be a time I never even used pipette pipettes. Now I use them all the time. Which is good because I have lots of them. Yellow first. folding out of the space as we speak. So, good to know, at least on the first one. It didn't even stay in there. So I may end up having to brush these anyway. So check this out. You see that? Pulled everything right out. <laughs> Great. Might as well cure it, finish curing it. Alright guys, I'm going to have to work on plan B, so I'm going to have to come back. Um, so I'm going to have to figure something else out here. So I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, see you in a little while. Well you guys, I think I might have come up with a solution to this. I wasn't sure if I could brush this stuff on, but you can. Um, there'll be a little bit of cleanup, which is not that big of a deal. But you guys remember me always saying I wish they would make a bent brush? I made my own. <laughs> I just took, I have so many of these brushes, I pulled this thing out and then um, I just took this and super glued it at an angle on here and then once that was dry then I took my UV resin bonding and I just put it over top of that and now I have a bent brush. <laughs> Let's test it out and see if it works. Because sometimes you just need a bent brush to get into places. Perfect. Look at that. Now I can reach places I couldn't reach before. Makes it so much easier. Because now the brush is pointed down versus pointed out. Now I just need to make a patent on this. So, basically what I'm doing here is I'm just brushing 
these flowers with this since the UV didn't work. And so brushing them, it sticks. I just didn't think it would stick, but it does. All right, so there's one. Get my cleaner over here. And this one is the blue, that's purple. So we'll go with the blue next. Should we do the shells around the edge? Because I got all the flowers colored. Shall we do the shells around the edge with the color? I have, <coughs> excuse me, I have different colors of I just felt something wet. Um, just a second, let me grab my colors. We could do the shells in these color, in this color. Oh, I think so. Or there's this lighter pink, but I like this this one better. All right, now this one's really gonna come in handy. to get those glued back in, mix me up some resin, and I think I'm going to do it white. So I will be right back. Now that I have this all over everything. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. Got our white mixed up. We forgot about the lid. Sorry, got my markers out here. I was working on another project while my resin was mixing. Um, forgot about the lid, so I went ahead and dusted it. I mixed up eight ounces. I hope this is enough. Yes, we will see. I'm trying to 
Let's see if this is white enough. Still looks a little light. This is where, I don't know if you guys all seen Let's Resin has a new white epoxy resin to go along with their black epoxy resin. I have some coming, which would be actually very handy in this situation. and I wouldn't be sitting here pouring half my bottle of casting craft <laughs> trying to get it white should probably be using the Let's Resin Ocean white instead I just had this sitting here so that's why I used it Okay. Go ahead and pour this lid first. Make sure that our bottom piece here it's a pretty open space, so it shouldn't accumulate bubbles, but I don't know, eight ounces may not be enough. I may have to mix up some more. Rather add to the lid. Set that aside. All right. Definitely going to need more. Probably another three ounces. All right, guys, I'll get this mixed up, get it poured, and then I will come back to you on demold. Okay, we'll see you on Demold. See you in a little while. Bye. Welcome back, y'all. 
boy did I ever have to do some finagling on this. I don't even know if it's going to sit straight. But as soon as I poured the resin into it to fill it up, these, this is so flimsy on the bottom that it just went all wonky. So I had to uh, prop up some um, older coasters underneath it just to keep it up. So hopefully, <laughs> I don't even know how it's going to look. Hopefully this is uh, ready to come out of here. But it ended up taking four more ounces. about this piece here. Because obviously it's just got to get my hands in there. cute is that? And I brushed it with one of each of the colors that I put the... That's still a little wobbly, not bad though. It's pretty white though. Alright, this is what I'm worried about, is this piece here. Everything else I think is okay, but this here piece is, I'm a little worried. It just seems so, <laughs> it's not exactly round, but Quite sure how to demold this. It's pretty stretchy. Not quite sure. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm going to spray it with alcohol. Just because I'm not. Sure. <laughs> Hold on a second here. That was a chore. Whew. And look, that moved. All the rest of them stayed, but that one moved. Gosh, dog on it. That thing was a chore to make. I'm 
What do you guys think? I don't know why the, the glitter didn't stick right there on, on two of them. But all the rest of them they did. It's cute though. Isn't that cute? Do this and hold this at the same time. How cute is that? It's still not completely cured, but close. It's very cute. I like it. I just might have to figure out how to. Hmm. Good thing you can't see that except for right there. I'll have to figure out how to fix that. Don't know how I'm going to do that. I may just have to take a knife and just cut that out and then stick one in there and then cover it up with UV resin. And fix it that way. The bottom's not round because when I propped those edges up, it kind of made it square, which is fine. You can't even tell that it shouldn't be that way. But it is very cute. Very, very cute. You could use this for anything. Candy dish. It's a pretty good size, too. Let's see. Let's measure it. The inside is about three inches around. The width across the top is about four and a half inches. And it stands without the lid three inches with the lid six inches so it's a pretty good sized little dish I only got one little tiny bubble right there yeah well I will fix this uh, spot right here and see what I can do about fixing that and then I will get pictures and I will put it at the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's just cute as heck. Alright guys, that's my video for today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Alright guys, have a great evening. Bye.